What the flip is poppin' to nation. So this is part two of me humiliating myself. If you didn't watch the first part, just scroll down, click the link in the description so you know what the hell I'm even doing and what I'm talking about. It's gonna make no sense if you didn't watch the last one because I'm in the middle of the story, okay? It's book club, and I want you to get caught up, because this is where it gets juicy, people. But before we get started, we do have a sponsorship, so take it away, Sarah. Today's video is sponsored by Honey. Honey. Honey is the number one shopping tool in America. I like to view Honey as my overprotective husband who is also an accountant, or I don't know, just someone who's just constantly looking after me, kind of looking over my shoulder, and just making sure that I'm not spending more money than I need to. It's a very comforting energy. <laughs> Simply all Honey does is automatically searches for promo codes and discounts so you don't have to. You already had a long day. You don't need to worry about all of that. Let Honey take care of it. And if you already have Honey on your computer, add it to your iPhone too. What are you doing? Whether you're at home or on the go, Honey can save you so much money on so many different websites. And it's miraculous how seamlessly it works just while you're surfing the web. It just does its thing in the background. You don't even know it's there. Also, it's kind of an adrenaline rush when you <laughs> go to check out on a website and then Honey just pops up and just does its thing in the background it's like really sweet i always audibly thank honey out loud when i <laughs> i'm checking out for different things because i'm like oh my god i forgot that you were here <laughs> no that's not how i'm gonna treat my actual accountant husband but um they're always just eh, making sure that you're good so go ahead add honey to your computer and your iphone okay it's free it's not going to cost you anything and you're going to save so much money and you will be supporting my channel if you scroll down to the description box and click that link joinhoney.com slash sarabasca that's right and it's absolutely free to use and look how beautiful the website is that's joinhoney.com slash sarabasca to download it for free. Thank you so much, honey, for sponsoring this video, honey. And let's get back into the video. Last week on whatever the fuck this is called. I got some emails from Brooke as we talk about what girls talk about. Butt plugs. And last but not least, I got an email from... So, as you can see, this is an email, and it's to bookworm2077 at zmail.com. And in parentheses, it says Natasha Loser Tyler. And that's me, apparently. I myself made the decision to make my email address bookworm. I grant Sasha 100% permission, all of my consent, to put me as Natasha Loser Tyler in her contact list. Bookworm Sasha. <laughs> Sasha's name from hotchick405 at zmail.com. Honestly, I love the confidence. Subject. You're invited! Wait, 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 wait. I thought that she didn't like me. Hey everyone! If I sent this to you, you must be getting a second chance. I'm inviting you to my birthday party. <laughs> I do not accept the answer no or I can't come. Or any of that bull crap. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Why do I love Sasha? I love her. I hope you can make it. And don't be a party pooper. <laughs> or else I'm never inviting you again. Pretty much. So just, yeah. Just be thankful you got a second chance. With a smiley face. See you at my party. I love you, Illy. I am so confused. I thought she hated me. Now she wants to invite me? 
I just received a new email from Brooke that asked if I got the message too. Brooke said we should go. So I agreed. Just cause Brooke wants to go, you're like, okay, whatever. But also I get that. I'm kind of the same way. Like if I don't really want to go to something because I just don't like the person, but my friend is like, we should go though. It's like funny. I'm like, yeah, that would be like funny. I, I'm just like so curious. I'm just like nosy, you know what I'm saying? So maybe we should go. For the first time, I was excited to go because I never got invited to parties, especially Sasha's. I got dressed and met David at the front door again. He looked cuter than ever. I ran to the bus stop. Once I got in, Sasha smirked at me. I was confused, so I just smiled back. I plopped right down next to Brooke. I can't wait until Sasha's birthday party, said Brooke with a snort. What? What do you mean with a snort? How can you say that with a snort? I can't wait till Sasha's birthday party. I can't wait for like what? I can't wait for Sasha's birthday party. <laughs> like what do you mean snort? I can't wait for Sasha's birthday party. Like what are we doing? Oh, I know, right? Sasha said, startling us. She appeared out of nowhere. It's cute how you girls wanted to go so bad. <laughs> so I said, what the heck? <laughs> I still don't like you though. She said again, ditto. Brooke muttered, muttered. Ooh, Sarah. Muttered. Excuse me? Sasha said, Nothing. Sorry. Brooke said. What the fuck? Why would Sasha get mad when Brooke said ditto? I thought this was like a mutual hatred that we had. But all of a sudden, you get mad when someone doesn't like you back. And then Sasha goes. That's what I thought. See you losers at my party. <laughs> she pushed me against Brooke, snickered, then skipped back at her seat twirling her blonde curly hair. Why are we going to her party again? I asked. Well, I mean, it'll be fun. Who cares if she's mean to us? She still invited us, right? Touche, I say. <laughs> Literally though, like touche. It's gonna be a dope ass party. She's like the hottest, coolest girl in town. Like this is gonna be extravagant and we're invited. Obviously we're going. And what if David's there? Brooke laughed and then turned to Marissa who was calling Brooke's name. Brooke, she said. Uh, yeah, hey. Brooke said back. I heard the most juicy gossip. <laughs> you know, like, Sasha? Yeah? Sasha is going out with David Mullen. Oh my God, not David. Oh my God, not my brother's hottie friend. Fuck. Of course, of course she's going out with David. Of course she's going out with David. I'm pissed, I'm fucking mad. My mouth dropped. I wanted to scream. I wanted to just go in the back of the bus and rip Sasha's hair out. Did she have any idea that David was my future husband? She's ruining my life! This is how I felt all the goddamn time in middle school. All my friends or all these bitches coming in here out of nowhere, stealing my crush. Just, oh my God, just me wanting to take a bitch by the ponytail and just whip her up like some cake batter. I want her brain to be just rocking back and forth in her skull. Why am I getting mad for myself? Not David, out of everyone? Not David, anybody but David. 
how could you be going out with the biggest drama queen ever created? I asked David Tuesday morning as I threw him on the couch. Okay, that's assault. Uh, I don't know, she's hot? <laughs> like, dead ass. Like, I don't know, she's hot, what the fuck? Ew! I yelled. I got up from the couch and screamed upstairs. <laughs> Screamed upstairs. Ah! Literally, I get that. Walking up the stairs like, ah! Ah! I get that. <laughs> he looked scared. This is his homie's little sister. Like, who the fuck are you, Natasha? Relax. I threw a picture on the ground and jumped in my bed and started crying. Threw a pic, just like a random picture. It's like her being cradled by her father. Jumped in my bed, started crying. There was a knock on the door. Go away! Go away! I'm coming in, said a deep voice. It was David. Natasha, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings. Uh, you're a beautiful person. Inside and outside. But will you let me make my own decisions from now on? What decision has she ever made for you, David? I don't get that. I don't get that dialogue between the two of them. I would have been like, yo, Natasha, little sis, baby Satya, grew up with ya been homies with your brother since we were in diapers. Sup, um, why are you crying? And why are you mad? What, what's going on here? Let's talk this out. You're like my sister, that's weird, that's weird. Because what the fuck is this shit? I didn't know that that would hurt you that bad. You're a beautiful person inside and out. Don't say that, Th that's gonna make her be like, wait, really? But will you let me decide my own decisions for now on? That is quite literally such a beautiful example of a man trying to express his feelings, but not really knowing how. And then saying something dumb. Like, I kinda nailed it in eighth grade. He asked politely with a crooked smile that I loved. Ew, bitch. <sighs> okay, but Sasha is just really mean to me. <laughs> I said, sniffling. I told him all of the stories. He gasped. <gasps> I am so sorry. I'm gonna talk to her. I'm gonna talk to her. That's not right. <laughs> really? Thank you, I said. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Still not clear about what's going on between them. The week went by fast. It was already Saturday morning. <laughs> I don't know why I did that, sorry. Kyle was making me pancakes and Tucker was playing Halo 3 with David. David. <laughs> Sasha invited the whole eighth grade, the ninth grade, the 10th grade, the 11th grade, even the high school seniors to her birthday. What? First of all, no. <laughs> No high schooler in their right mind would be like, oh, that eighth grader, we gotta go to her party, that's gonna be hot. And Sasha's what, 12? And a senior's like, yo, we gotta go to the 12 year old's birthday bash, that's gonna be sick. Unless they're a predator, I don't know. So Tucker, David, Kyle, and me were going together. Do you even know that devil? I asked Kyle. Yeah, her sister was my ex, remember? Kelsey? He said, That's her sister? I asked in confusion. Sadly, yeah. And I know how annoying Sasha is. She's such a brat like her mother. She gets anything she wants just by begging. It's crazy. Oh, wow. Are her parties any good? <laughs> Honestly, I can't answer that one. But Kelsey, on the other hand, her parties are absolutely outrageous. And they, they always have been. They have a huge house <laughs> with a huge pool too. It's like heaven over there, straight up. 
both of my eyebrows rose and my mouth dropped. I was amazed by my brother's description. I was watching TV until the clock struck 5.30. Time to get ready for the big party. What goes down at this party? Let's get it. I put on a cute blue dress and I curled my hair. I put on some makeup my mom bought me a long time ago and I never used it in my life. Ew, please don't be one of those bitches that's like, oh, I'm just sorry. I don't really like fuck with makeup. I think it's, I like the natural look. I just, I'm just very natural. I like working with what God gave me. Um, why do I feel like I have to change something about myself? I think that makeup just screams insecurity if I'm being honest. Am I being one of those bitches right now? Oh, you have to put makeup on to feel good about yourself? My mom picked up some light blue contacts to match my outfit. What? Like, was that her mom's idea? To ma blue contacts to match my outfit? Do people do that? I never wore contacts before, so this is gonna become a challenge. Yeah, why are you doing this? You don't have to do all this. You sound like such a dweeb. Like this is the first time you've ever stepped out of your house ever. Okay, mom, I need you to go to America's Best, pick up some blue contacts, okay? I need you to spend $350 on them. I need three shades of blue just in case the first shade doesn't match, okay? I need to like test all three out and I need you to go do that right now because my dress is blue and I need blue eyes. Blue, brown, not gonna work for me. Get in your minivan now. I have two hours and 36 minutes to get ready. Do that now before they close. Apparently that was a part of my fantasy. I want my eyes to match my outfit. But honestly, is that kind of a vibe? I can't tell, like this is confusing me because it's like, ugh, cringe, what? But then when I really sit here and think about it, I'm like, wait, <laughs> that's kind of a vibe. Like <gasps> tie dye eye contacts, is that a thing? If I had contacts that looked like this sweatshirt, that's sick. Okay, I get it. I get it. Ooh, like glittery eye contacts with like a glittery, d ooh, that's crazy. Like a glittery gold gown with glittery eye contacts. Someone make that happen or I'm going to. Okay, so my mom picked up some light blue contacts to match my outfit so extra. I put on stockings and some high heels. I peeked behind the staircase and saw David sitting in the living room texting. I came down the stairs and he smiled wide. You look beautiful, Natasha. I blushed again. Thank you. You too. Well, not beautiful, but you know, Handsome. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I hate this shit so much. Not, um, fuck. Oh, sorry. You, it's not that you were like beautiful, because that's like weird. Like, that's like a girl thing. <laughs> that's what like you call girls, and <laughs> you're a man. <laughs> so, oh my god, fuck. Now he thinks that I like called him a girl. <laughs> when that's like, what? what? You're not a girl. I don't think you're girly, because that's like weird. Sorry, I meant to say, sorry, oh, fuck me. It's okay if you never want to talk to me again, like I get it. Um, you know what, in that case, I'm just gonna, I'm just actually gonna remove myself from this country. <laughs> like, what? girl, relax. When a guy just compliments you and you freak out, like Jesus. He laughed and walked with me to the kitchen. Kyle complimented me, and surprisingly, so did Tucker. I felt like a princess. <laughs> Bitch, first of all, this is not prom. You're going to a random <laughs> eighth grader's house. You know bitches are gonna show up at that party. Just, I don't know, crop top, cute skinny jeans, you know, whatever. But in my mind, it's like this fantasy. I'm going to the ball. I'm going to the ball. I did look pretty, and I even admitted it. 
The doorbell rang. I knew it was Brooke. I opened the door and she looked fantastic. Hair straightened, pink dress, high heels, and Tucker was totally flirting with her. It's 6.45 and it's time to leave. We all hopped in Kyle's Escalade. What? It's like a giant mom car. Kyle does not have an Escalade. Once we got there, there were lights everywhere. Lights on the palm trees, lights on the house, the banners, the balloons, it was intense. There was a line of people standing outside the gate waiting to get in. The lady in the front was checking off names. Once we were up next, Kyle said, Kyle Tyler? Kyle Tyler is your name. Two first names like that, Kyle Tyler. Kyle Tyler. She looked through the list, nodded, and opened the gate. Next up, David. Um, David Mullins? She looked through the list, nodded, and opened the gate. Tucker Tyler? Okay, that's even worse. That's even worse than Kyle Tyler. Tucker Tyler? Actually, Tucker Tyler. It's 107.5 KISS FM. I'm Tucker Tyler here. Tucker Tyler. It's giving me Tucker Tyler. Kyle Tyler. Kyle Tyler. Kyle Tyler. It sounds just too like, ah, ah. Kyle Tyler. But Tucker Tyler? That's cool. Tucker Tyler. Fun, smooth. Kyle Tyler. And it's just, no. I'm just judging myself and I'm judging my name choices. Stupid, Sarah. Stupid. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Dumb. Me to my eighth grade self. Stupid, stupid. What the fuck? Tucker Tyler? That makes no sense. Okay, anyway, I'm just joking. I love my little self. I think that this is really cute and creative. So all my brothers and David gets in, right? And then it's Brooke's turn. Brooke Montez? The lady scanned through the list. She stopped. Kept flipping through the pages. Sorry, miss, you're not on the list. Next! Brooke was freaking out. Um, hang on, there must be some kind of mistake, okay? The list says all, okay? But if you wanna go stand over there on the side, the lady said, then it was my turn. Um, Natasha Tyler? She looked through, shook her head, and told me to go wait on the other side with Brooke. Ticked off at Sasha. Ticked off. That was low. Then the lady called Sasha on the walkie talkie. Yeah, uh, so there have been two young ladies who say they should have been on the list. Um, can you please come down here and check? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Brooke Montez and Natasha T What? Oh, okay. All right, ladies. It seems we had a bit of a mix up. Sasha says that you should have been on the list, but something might have happened, so you ladies may enter. Ah! She opened the gate and we skipped through hearts pounding. Period. As we walked through the arch leading to the backyard, the party was intense. Loud music, men with torches, tigers, elephants over there, monkeys over there. Where the fuck? That's so illegal. Girls and boys swimming in the pool? Boys and girls making out in the pool. Boys and girls making out everywhere. We were kind of scared. But we were having fun. <laughs> Boys and girls were dancing. Inappropriately. Oh, oh my god. I was okay with it though. <laughs> Boys and girls were dancing inappropriate, but don't worry. 
I'm okay with this. I'm okay with that. God, I was so, oh, I was so sheltered at this time, y'all. Eighth grade me was so sheltered. Oh. Then we heard a booming voice come out of nowhere. Welcome to Sasha's 15th birthday extravaganza. Oh, so she's turning 15. Me thinking they were 12. Okay, cue the music and bring her out! Let's hear it! Everyone went crazy, yelling, screaming, cheering. Then loud music came out of nowhere and we saw Sasha riding an elephant. First of all, y'all are in California. Very illegal. This isn't even her 16th birthday party. This is her 15th. Ooh, you can get your driver's permit. Whoa. Let's spend a million dollars. What do her parents do? Do they run some weird illegal Tiger King type business? Like, is Sasha's dad Joe Exotic? Riding a fucking elephant at your 15th birthday party? Give me a break. She was wearing a bikini on this elephant. Boys were screaming. Girls were screaming. Everyone was taking pictures. I'm just imagining all of like the boys at the party, even like the high school seniors that were invited being just like, The boys were screaming like, yeah, creeps. Or were they like, yeah. Like, what do you mean they were screaming? She got off the elephant and started dancing. Oh my God. Then she just started kissing different guys. Guys other than David. She's such a player. Everyone went in the huge mansion and we played seven minutes in heaven in groups. I was in a group of 15 people. Holy shit, that's so many people. But ugh, Sasha was in my group. And so was David. So was Brooke. I never kissed a boy before, so I was kind of nervous. Sasha was first, cause duh, it's her birthday. And she landed on Cam. Who's Cam? She held Cam's hand and led him to the closet. We could hear them making out and the sound was making David mad and he was rolling his eyes the entire time. It was entertaining. Ooh, the drama. When they came out, there was lipstick all over Cam's face. Oh my God, so basically Sasha just cheated on David right in front of David's face. But somehow that's okay, because it's her birthday. If my boyfriend agreed to go in the closet with some girl, I would be like, bitch, if you do this, we're breaking up. Like, you're cheating on me. This isn't cool. David's just sitting there like, Ugh, just Sasha things. And then Sasha comes out like, it's my birthday. Next, Brooke is up. She lands on Tucker. My brother, ew, and she totally thinks that he's hot and vice versa. They went in the closet, I was scared, I closed my eyes, Sasha was snickering, they came out, his hair was messed up, ew, ugh, but all I could think was, uh oh, it's my turn next. Fuck. <laughs> I didn't say fuck in this, but heck. I spun the bottle and it landed on. David! <gasps> I got butterflies. The room was spinning. I my cheeks got hot. Like I knew Sasha was going to hate me, but like, I looked over at David and he winked at me. So, <laughs> Sasha rolled her eyes and I walked in the closet. So did he. Uh -oh. 
I'm glad that you picked me. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Do you wanna try it or are you uncomfortable or? Uh, uh no, I mean, we can if you want. Bitch, what do you want? That's what matters. Doesn't matter what he wants. Well, it does. Just consent, consent, consent. I mean, I gotta be honest with you. The moment that I saw you come down the stairs tonight, <laughs> I just, I, I knew that I did like you. I smiled and blushed at the same time. Thank you. Ready? I literally said, thank you. Ready? Like, aw, thanks. Do you wanna fucking make out now or what? I don't have all day. He nodded and our heads were moving forward. As soon as I could even think, I felt his lips touch mine and it felt amazing. Oh my fucking God. It felt like fireworks were going off. It felt good. It felt right. The kiss got more heavy. The timer went off in the other room, so we came out. Bitch, you have a girlfriend! Who quite literally bullies me every day at school and is like actually assaulting my friend Brooke and pushing her off of the goddamn bus every morning. What? David looked at Sasha. She slapped him across the face and ran away. Don't act like you genuinely did not just kiss Cam right in front of David's face. You did the exact same thing first. He's just mirroring you at this point. He's just like, well, fuck. You're just mad because he kissed me and you hate me for some reason. You've been picking on my little horse girl ass for years. You're just mad, bitch. She slapped him across the face and ran away. Lauren and Chelsea ran after her, glaring at me. Am I a monster? What have I done? I looked at David and he just mouthed the words. I get that. She's being so fucking dramatic. David should be being the drama king right now because quite literally, she cheated on David first. What is her issue? No one should be cheating on anyone. But I am kind of stoked for Natasha though because that was her crush. Okay, okay. I suddenly got up and ran to the bathroom. Brooke chasing after me, of course. Brooke, I thought this party was gonna be fun. Now Sasha hates me even more. I uh, I don't get it. I don't know what I I don't know what to do at this point. She kissed so many guys tonight. I sobbed. Brooke hugged me and gave me advice to talk to Sasha. So I did. Mm, that's I don't think that's a good idea. Just stay out of it. I stepped out of the bathroom, found Sasha sitting in a corner, mascara running crying. I took her wrist and pulled her into the bathroom. <laughs> How could you do this to me? <laughs> Kiss my boyfriend? Like, what? <laughs> um, Sasha, you kissed like 20 guys tonight. <laughs> And he wasn't mad at you all night. Sorry, I just wanted to have some fun at my birthday party. Like, God, I knew inviting you was a bad idea. I should have listened to myself. Hey, come on. All right, we were playing a game. 
spin the bottle, okay? The bottle landed on David, so I had to kiss David. The bottle picked Cam for you. David probably felt crappy. But he pulled himself together to make sure that you had a good time. Sasha, it's your party. Make the most of it. And don't let a stupid game stop you from having the best night of your life, okay? Why am I being so nice to this stupid bitch? I guess you're right. <laughs> Thanks. I helped her up and she returned to her friends. Brooke and me went, Brooke and me, Brooke and I went outside and saw Tucker standing by the pool pouting, my brother. We went up to the side and knelt down next to the pool. Hey, dude, what's wrong? I asked. Well, the girl that I like just won't get in the pool with me. He said with a frown. Brooke rolled her eyes because she had a crush on Tucker. And knowing that he liked someone else made Brooke upset. Oh, I said. Well, who's the girl that you're talking about? I asked with curiosity. He looked at Brooke and winked. You! He said to Brooke. Brooke blushed and took off her dress. What? Oh, I put in parentheses. Don't worry, she had a bikini under it. <laughs> I was like, damn. Oh shit, you have a crush on me too. Me. Just gets naked. Oh my God. That would be iconic though. They jumped in the pool. They giggled and hugged. I wanted to throw up. I get that. Before I could say a word, I felt cold hands on my back pushing me. <gasps> Before I knew it. I was at the bottom of the pool. I couldn't swim. I closed my eyes because I knew I was going to die right then and there. Oh my God, bitch. Just flap around in there, splash. You're in a pool. It's not a fucking lake. It's not a river. It is not the ocean. You're in a pool with a shallow end and a deep end and people all around you. Make noise. Your brother is literally right there with your best friend. Hello? And your brother and your best friend should know that you cannot swim. You're not gonna die. You're being dramatic. But let's continue. And then suddenly I felt arms around me, pulling me. And I knew I was outside by now, being dragged. And then someone kissed me. Well, CPR. I opened my eyes and saw David's face in mine. Are you all right? He asked. He was a blur. The whole place around me was spinning. When everything stopped and my eyes cleared, I nodded and tried to stand up, holding my head. I looked over at Sasha and she was just snickering at me. <laughs> she was the one who pushed me and almost murdered me. Even when I thought that we were friends again. God, I was so mad. I just gave her a great pep talk in the bathroom and then she does this. David wrapped a towel around me and walked me inside. I looked at her and she said, that was for kissing my boyfriend. <laughs> she laughed with her friends Lauren and Chelsea. I wanted to strangle her. But it wasn't the time. Oh my god! Okay, Euphoria! He took me to the couch. I lay across his lap as he was stroking my hair. Ooh. It's a good thing that I saved you. Yeah. Or else you'd be in heaven right now. <laughs> what a weird thing to say to someone after they almost just died. <laughs> yeah, you're my hero. <laughs> Ew. Ew. 
Oh my fucking fuck. Oh my god, if I wouldn't have saved you, you would have been in heaven right now. You're my hero. God, what the fuck? That should have been her brother saving her and pulling her out of the water. Not David. In reality, Sasha is in the corner of the party at the opposite side of the house screaming at David for kissing me in the closet. And then he's arguing with her being like, well, you were kissing 20 guys all night. They would not be looking over at the pool and seeing me apparently not looking like I'm struggling at all and just sinking to the bottom of the pool. Oh, my own brother and best friend were in the pool next to me and just, they were just making out and they're like, oh, <laughs> is that? <laughs> yeah, who cares? Like what? Brooke, Tucker, and Kyle came running through the doors and took a knee beside the couch and was talking to me. Finally, where the fuck have y'all been this entire time? while I was literally drowning. Where were y'all? As soon as I felt better, I said, um, excuse me, David, I need to go to the bathroom and, um, freshen up. He smiled and said, okay, feel better. <laughs> I ran to the bathroom, Brooke following me. Um, can I go by myself? I told Brooke, what the fuck, kind of rude, but also I get it. Like, where the fuck were you when I was drowning? Oh, that's right. You were making out with my brother. Fake friend, leave me alone. Um, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Uh, just take your time. Brooke said. Once I got in, I shut the door behind me. I took out my phone and sent a text to my mom. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. I guess this is a three-part series. This video is just getting too long, so I will finish the rest of the story. I guess there's a resolution to this shit. What's gonna happen? And I'm going over to... And I'm going over to my best friend Katie's house and seeing her and her son. It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> okay, um, all right. See you guys later, bye.